Hello D Nation and welcome back to a Diecast Motorcycle Unbox and Review episode. In today's episode we are going to be reviewing the 2005 Kawasaki Ninja ZX10R which is a licensed 118 scale diecast motorcycle manufactured by Maisto. So stay tuned with me on this one and let's get this started. Well today there is not going to be a usual unboxing but what I'm going to do instead is look up my 118 scale motorcycle gallery and pick out an awesome diecast motorcycle for today's episode so all we got to do now is take a look at what we've got in store for today's review and get this started So what we're looking at today is a 118 scale licensed special edition diecast replica of the 2005 Kawasaki Ninja ZX10R which is a black variant manufactured by Maisto. Well although this diecast model is about a decade old she still looks quite amazing and has a good build quality and quite a bit of detailing despite some minor aging. The reason why these models last for so long despite rough handling is because they are manufactured mostly of diecast and a few components made of ABS plastic. And in case you were wondering about the dimensions, this replica measures in at 4.8 inches in length, 3.8 inches in height, 2 inches in width, and weighs in at about 110 grams. Besides the sturdy build, the other reason why I like this diecast replica is because it comes with the actual trademark paint job and standard branding details which almost resembles the real deal based on its model year. And in case you didn't know, this replica comes with free rolling wheels and working suspension for some playtime, a kickstand for display, and a lot more intricate details which makes it a beautiful collectible which is functional as well. And this motorcycle replica will sure warm the hearts of any diecast motorcycle collector or hobbyist. And so with that being said, now let's take a closer look at the exteriors of this motorcycle and stay tuned for some fun facts coming up. And with that out of the way, now let's place this diecast beauty on the D-Nation Dyno and check out its wheel spin and its functionality. And kindly find further features and specifications regarding this amazing diecast motorcycle replica in the description below. Well everything seems to be spot on and up to my expectations with this amazing diecast motorcycle. And so with that being said, let's place this diecast model on the D-Nation turntable and take a look at this beauty in a 360 degree view. And here are a few fun facts. Kawasaki Aircraft initially manufactured motorcycles under the Meguro name. Having bought an island motorcycle manufacturer, Meguro Manufacturing with whom they have been in partnership with. This eventually became Kawasaki Motor Sales and some early motorcycles displayed an emblem with the Kawasaki aircraft on the fuel tank. 
During 1962, Kawasaki engineers were developing a four-stroke engine for small cars. Then some of the engineers transferred to the Meguro factory to work on the Meguro K1 and the SG, a single-cylinder 250cc OHV. In 1963, Kawasaki and Meguro merged to form Kawasaki Motorcycle Company Limited. Kawasaki motorcycles from 1962 through 1967 used an emblem which can be described as a flag within a wing. Kawasaki's engine division, which is housed in a single office complex in Grand Rapids, Michigan, consolidates research and development projects for engines. And for further information on Kawasaki, kindly check the link in the description below. And if you want to get yourself or your loved ones this 118 scale diecast motorcycle replica, I dropped the Best Buy link in the description below. So go check it out and get yourself one if you're interested. And also please do let me know in the comments below as to what are your thoughts on this amazing diecast motorcycle replica. And kindly continue to support D Nation by liking and sharing our videos. And please do check out the rest of the 118 scale diecast motorcycle episodes in the playlist below. And this brings us to the end of this amazing diecast motorcycle review episode and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up and share it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if this is your first time here. And also click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming episodes. And if you care to share your views and thoughts on this episode, please do drop your comments below and stay tuned for all new episodes coming up. Well, thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.